Hello and welcome to today's episode of Car Court, where cars are bad until proven good. Today's defendant, the Bavarian Beaver, the BMW 430i, here in the convertible guise, but also comes in a coupe, so this argument will be including both. A little recap on the last episode of Car Court, the GMC Canyon. You all agreed with Chris that the Canyon is indeed a bad car. Now, for my actual opinion on that truck, I genuinely think it's okay. I think it, 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 by maybe like a 60-40 split, I would say that's a good truck just because it's competition yeah. in the Ranger and the lack of a Dakota. Is, mm -hmm. I mean, there's, if you want an actual body on frame mid-sized truck, yeah. I mean, yeah, all we really need is a, is a Ridgeline. But in terms of body on frame mid-sized trucks, I do appreciate that the Colorado and Canyon exists. It's not yeah. great, but it's good. I agree with that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now for today, Chris, tell us a little bit about the 430i. So this is the all new generation of the BMW 4 Series, which is essentially just the two door version of the four door version of the two door car. So this is the convertible 4 Series, the 430i. It's a two liter inline four turbo, makes about 300 horsepower, mated to an eight speed automatic. And for this year, they have just completely ruined the styling. Well, it's not too hard to take a guess on what stance you have on the 430i then, Chris. So why don't you start us off? Well, to start off, BMW has decided that they want to be bold with their styling and they've put this massive grill on the front of this car. And I think that BMW's stance on it is that, you know, every now and then they have to sort of rethink and be bold and do something crazy. But you don't see someone like Lucky Charms replacing marshmallows with raisins or something just to be unique. They shouldn't have done this. It's way too big. It spoils the looks of the entire car. Also, this particular one has the M Sport package, which means you have these M Sport wheels, you have M on the brake calipers, it has the M steering wheel, it says M on the door sills. I think for a 430i with just the four cylinder, does it really need all of this M stuff? Sure, you can have a Sport package, but should it be posing as an M4? I don't think so. Also, when you're driving this car, the powertrain is okay, but it's really just not that great. I feel like for a car that looks this aggressive or whatever, you know, a sports car, it should have a little bit more power. And the steering is really not connected. It feels almost wooly. It's like not, it's not there. If you're coming out of a drift or if you're coming out of anything, it's a little bit scary because you don't know where the steering wheel or where the wheels are pointing uh, in connection with the steering wheel. And coming around to this side of the interior, I just don't think it's all there. For a car that is $67,000, you think that you would have a little bit more design on the interior. It's just kind of like flat, boring nothingness on this side, and I just don't think that it's worth it for the price. What I'm hearing from you, Chris, is a lot of subjective bias. And if I remember correctly, you are a BMW 3 Series owner from the early 2000s, back when everyone loves to talk about how good and classic the E46 design is. But what that means is you're blind and you're, you're shuttered off from the possibility of moving forward. This BMW 430i is a great evolutionary step in the BMW 4 Series lineup. Now, yes, there are the crazy BMW M4s, the, the performance type models, the M cars, but this model perfectly suits the type of buyer who wants a classy car that fits a lot of different driving styles and a lot of different driving situations and manages to look good doing it. People who buy a 430i, especially in convertible form, they want to be able to have four seats and they actually want those four seats to be usable for human beings with legs. They also want a classy badge experience. They want to tell people that they own a luxury car. They want to carry that sort of image. These are probably people who live in nice neighborhoods, who have nice things. They have nice handbags or nice clothes. They care about the finer things in life. And for them, they're willing to pay a little bit more for a badge. And yes, the styling of the grill is controversial. But BMW does need to push boundaries, and I do know for a fact that this is not a universally hated design. Now, for some of us who do like previous BMW designs, it may be hard to get used to, but people who appreciate more progressive designs have expressed liking for this grill, and if you don't care for the grill and you move on, you see a very beautifully styled, handsomely proportioned convertible car. They've switched to a soft top convertible, more of a classic, soft look 
for the BMW 430i. No longer a hardtop that's trying to pose as a coupe. You get to very authoritatively say, I'm in a convertible. And moving along, look at these beautiful character lines coming around to an artfully styled rear. Very big departure from previous 4 Series, but these LED lights that come around, everything looks good. It looks well balanced. There's not a proportion out of place in this car aside from the grille. Coming back into the interior, you're greeted with a beautiful red. This looks the part. This looks very nice against the white exterior. And again, someone who's buying this car doesn't want something they can get from just any brand. They want to feel like they're getting a unique product and a unique experience with their car. And that is what they're getting when they pay the money or lease a BMW 430i. Popping open this beautifully long sports car-esque hood, you're greeted with one of the best, if not the absolute best, two liter turbocharged engine on sale today in 2021. Made it to, again, one of the best eight speed transmissions, best transmission in general on the market. It's quick and it's smooth, and that's where this engine really shines. Is it fit for an M car? No but it transcends so many barriers of efficiency, of power, and of sound. If you want to have your cake and eat it too, you gotta go with the BMW 2 liter turbo engine. This thing got over 36 miles per gallon in our fuel economy testing, even in convertible form, and then when you put your foot down, it goes, it pulls, and yes, you do have some artificial engine sounds, but for the typical sort of buyer, that wants a car like this. They want to be able to have quiet when they're just cruising along in comfort mode, and then they want to hear some semblance of character when they're driving sporty. This allows you to have all of those things. So Chris, try to tell me that this isn't the perfect car for, yes, maybe not an enthusiast, but maybe a well-to-do realtor, or perhaps the wife of a dentist. If it's, <laughs> if it's not for an enthusiast, why is it on these huge M wheels with Michelin Pilot Sport 4S, like, because the M means mm, these are some good looking wheels. <laughs> I found that with this two liter turbo, it's impossible to have fun. If you floor it around a corner, it just grips. Yeah. Oh, wow. Grips. What oh, a yeah, horrible it's thing. Okay. It's okay. You can get your blood pumping with pulling a G in your convertible. Oh no, grip. You can grip with the front wheels, but when you want to have a little bit of fun as one may want to in a four series, it's almost impossible. Yeah, it has to be raining. Chris, the buyer of a $67,000 BMW convertible is not a flat brimmed backward hat yes, vaping but, person who just yes, wants to rip donuts in every parking lot yes, they but can find. In, but in 10 years, in 10 years, it will be that person, and they will be greatly disappointed. BMW is not making money by building cars for the teenagers that are gonna find them salvaged in 10 years. <laughs> yes, but look at the grill. Let's look at this grill. Yes. How, much of, it, how much of it is actually being used? This, this much. You're right. Currently, this while this grill. car is sitting off, may I mind you, we're only open to this much grill. But you know why this grill exists? Because this is the baby car of the more performance versions. If you want to step up to the big boys, you've got the M440i, you've got the M4, and then you do need this grill so it can suck in as much air well, and put it into power, rocketing it forward for a truly exciting experience. Well, those grills look proper because those grills are two separate pieces. Those have a body color divider in between the grills, plus they stick out. This just looks like two buck teeth. It's all one piece. There's chrome on it. It doesn't work. I mean, you're right. <laughs> You're, you're basing your entire your argument on about 5% of the car. So what else do you have? If, if, if I stand here and cover this, how Which, else can you tell me that this should. isn't a good car? Well, because that, that is the first impression of the car. That is the only thing that people are gonna see on this car. If they see something this massive and hideous on the car, that's it. They're no longer even gonna consider purchasing it because that's what they have to look at every day when they walk out to it. Well, unless you're racing an Audi A5, in which case the first impression will be from the rear which looks very nice. <laughs> and not only that, this car has no space in the trunk. I mean, absolutely none. Oof, that... In part because, you know, it is a convertible, so like, we'll give it that. But also... You know, I could fit back there. <laughs> Do you think you could fit in it? I could fit in that. He's trying, everybody. What do you mean there's no space? Are you in it? You are completely in it. <laughs> Argument. He's in it. Invalid. No. 
Okay, yes, but what is in that trunk is a soft top. They've gone backwards. Could have had a hard top on the E93, the F, whatever the four series before this was. And I think it just it just made it look a lot nicer for if you are paying $67,000, should you be getting a soft top? I don't know. Plus it set it aside from the Audi A5 and the Mercedes C300. It was the only choice you could have with a hard top and now it just fits in with the rest. Chris, your argument for soft top is entirely invalid because you know what convertible has a soft top? The Lexus LC500. And that, as you said yesterday, is the best car ever made and therefore soft top, good thing. Well, the LC doesn't really have any competitors because it's just the best, so you can't argue the LC. So LC, best car, BMW 430i, second best. LC, best car, always. So do you agree with me that this is the perfect car for anyone who's not a diehard M enthusiast? Or do you agree with Chris that it's a bad car and everyone should just be buying BMWs with stick shifts and failing water pumps? Let us know in the comments and let us know on the poll. There will be a link down there. You can vote for who won this car court. And we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching, everybody. Mm -hmm.